Well, Rasmus Hoyland pushing for a United transfer, and we are talking about Tom Heaton. Interest coming in from another huge Premier League club, and we don't know that Eric Ten Hag is going to block him again. And obviously, Jordan Sancho given his last his last chance at Manchester United. Welcome to this channel. Smash the like button, comment, and share. If you're already watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. And this is the United Matters channel. It's Rock and David, your host. And here I come in peace, guys, to really bring you this story that most of you have always been waiting for. Rasmus Hoyland is one of those that United is linked to, and Eric Ten Hag is obviously going to push to see to it that he gets him in early enough. But it's always good to see to it that when your team is pushing for the player, and even the player's side is pushing, that means everything will come to a compromise. Let's see close to 400 likes, smash on this video, and let's continue obviously getting our levels to where they're supposed to be because nothing will ever get where we want it to be if at all we don't really subscribe to this channel. Let's continue subscribing to it that we hit 15,000 subscribers, right? Because we are having 14,000 subscribers and I think in a nutshell we will be up there. So let's jet it off with Rasmus Hoyland, a story being reported by Alfredo Pedula. He works for <coughs> the tv dello sport obviously that's italy and he has gone ahead to confirm to us that rasmus hoyland is pushing to go to manchester united manchester united will will investigate the attacking issue after the andre onana deal now we all know that before we went in for andre onana ten Hag wanted the deal of mason mount to be gotten over the line and it did right when that got done it's now andre onana and the and he has been given that deal of andre onana has been given an ultimatum of 72 hours those are three days. Two days gone, meaning that we are left with just 48 hours. So, I anticipate that maybe tomorrow the official bid is going to go in for Man United for Andrew Yonana and it's going to be accepted. Then, after it getting accepted, the rest will be history. Uh, here we go, will be announced by Fabrizio Romano. A medical will be scheduled. He'll fly to Manchester United. Obviously, do the medical at Carrington and then he'll get unveiled. And I think most of you that have always been thinking of him really taking part into the game you're going to play on Wednesday, that's a fuss. <laughs> that's it. So, don't anticipate that that's going to happen. So, we expect it to really not happen. And he might really get his debut over the weekend when we take on the the French side known as Lyon down in Glasgow, that is Scotland. Now, for Rasmus Hoyland, everything will happen, all will get into motion when United gets the deal of Andre Onana over the line. One is asking him herself, does United have the money to get the deal of Rasmus Hoyland over the line? I anticipate that they really do have the monies because Ten Hag wouldn't have gone ahead to tell the board that gate in Mason Mount first and the Andre Onana Yet his priority was a goalkeeper, and that man was not there. I brought you a story confirmed us by Samuel Lucas that United have gone ahead to put 65 million pounds apart to see to it that they really deliver Rasmus Hoyland to Manchester United. So I anticipate this deal is going to be so much into action or into motion after United gets the deal of Andre Onana over the line. So the beauty of this deal is <clears throat> United wants the player. And the player wants to come to Man United. Remember in January, he went ahead to obviously reveal to the public that he supports Man United and he would like to play for Man United. And obviously, looks like the God he was talking to was really hearing him out. And guess what? Having discussed this in January, verbally, in March, around, I think it was 13th April, when he went for the international break, that's when the news broke out that United is into for Rasmus Hoyland. And it's obviously one of those things that have gone ahead to really happen in a very, 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 very quick time. That is a blink of an eye. And Rasmus Hoyland is on his way to Man United. Ten Hag is not looking for any other striker apart from Rasmus Hoyland. He wanted Victor Oshman, number one target, and Harry Kane, but they couldn't match the monies that Tottenham and Napoli really called for those players. Tottenham wanted 100 million pounds for Harry Kane and Napoli wanted 130 million pounds. So they couldn't really match that level. They said we are not going to really go mad and let's go in for Rasmus Hoyland, the prospectus talent that went ahead to really show in his talent 
at Atalanta. The other boss of Rasmus Hoyland is all about Mason Winwood. He's so much into the mix that he's going to cross on loan to Atalanta and then Rasmus Hoyland will come in through at Man United. So Rasmus Hoyland, 100% pushing for Man United. Personal terms of Rasmus Hoyland, we are agreed in May. So looks like things are really coming on to where we want them to be. And Ten Hag just wants to go to America for the preseason when he's having at least three players in. Looks like after Andre Onana, Mason Mount, the next player that Ten Hag is signing is going to be Rasmus Hoyland. But Rasmus Hoyland is pushing hard to see to it that by the time Atalanta goes back to their prison, I think they're going to start their prison around 20th. That is like nine days from now. The deal will be done. And I think that's the plan of Man United because you wouldn't like to keep a player that you're going to sell in your team. In the preseason, it's better you sell him off. That's what Pochettino did for Mason Mount. He told Chelsea that if Mason Mount is not going to stay here, please make sure you sell him before we start the preseason. And by the time they started the preseason on Monday, Mason Mount had been already unveiled as a Manchester United player. So that is Rasmus Hoyland update because you guys love Rasmus Hoyland a lot and you guys have gone ahead to really watch his videos mob time here on this channel. That's why I that's why obviously do Rasmus Hoyland every time I really come across him. So Rasmus Hoyland done and dusted, big story <coughs> that most people are really going to really not like. Those that really feel like Jordan Sancho should leave the club of Man United. And Ten Hag looks like has gone ahead to obviously do the needful. Jack Talbot is one of the journalists that I've gone ahead to follow up as far as Man United is concerned. And he's a chief football correspondent for the transfer.com. Looks like he works for the Times, Guardians, Mirror Sport, Football 365, The Sport, and Planet Football. He has gone ahead and confirmed us that Eric Ten Hag's current intention to give Jordan Sancho one more season at Man United to impress. So, Eric Ten Hag's current intention is to give Jordan Sancho one more season at Man United to impress. If a huge offer comes in, then he might leave, but given his wages, that is very unlikely. Now, I've always defended Jordan Sancho. No one will ever let me know that Jordan Sancho is not an Eric Ten Hag player. That's out. That's out. Because unless you have an agenda on Jordan Sancho, but he is an Eric Ten Hag player. If other players have called in for second chances by the fans of Man United, then why don't we go ahead and obviously grant this guy another chance? He deserves another chance because he started off the season very well. Guess what happened? Having not been included into the English national team to take part into the World Cup, he got what we call a mental problem. That's why Ten Hag took him to a rehabilitation. He spent three months not playing football and returned when United was beating Nottingham Forest by two goals to nil at the Old Trafford. And there is a player in him that Ten Hag sees. And obviously, there is a lot that... Um, Jordan Sancho has to put on the table as far as the team of Man United is concerned. If at all you feel like this is not good for you, then you are not for the, you are not for you are not meant for football. Because do you know that all of us we are buzzing when Jordan Sancho was coming in from Borussia Dortmund to Man United? We all knew that at the time he was the best right winger in his age bracket. He was he was I think 20, 21 years of age, and no one beat him in the world. So. Those capabilities and potentials that we saw into him can be really be brought back at Man United. And we've seen those glances, we've seen those flashes under Eric Ten Hag. And trust me, he is going to steer this club. Now, very many people have come out and say that um, Eric Ten Hag is looking at Jordan Sancho as a fourth feeder into his left and right attack midfield areas. And <clears throat> I just went ahead to really remind those people that do you know that Marcus Rashford is being looked as is being looked at by Eric Ten Hag as a center forward than a left forward. That is it. And what proves that is simple. Most of the goals that Marcus Rashford would have to score during the during the season. He scored them as a center forward. He never scored those goals as a right or a left attacking midfielder. That's it. So, 
Ten Hag is going to hate to see Marcus Rashford as a center forward more than a left forward. And after scoring all those goals, in his own words, Ten Hag told us that Marcus Rashford like, likes to read the line more than playing wide left because he knows that that's his best position now. And Ten Hag is going to use him more as a striker maybe next season because he wants three strikers. That is Rasmus Hoyland, Anton Martial, and Marcus Rashford. But for Sancho, I knew he was going nowhere. I mean, the story is being put out in the media that Sancho is going to be sold. Guys, united with English players, they don't easily sell them like that. And the player has quality. If Ten Hag is going to have to improve Aaron and Bissaka, why not improve Jordan Sancho? And Sancho is going to have to show, his, to show us that he has the potential, he can do the needful, that obviously Ten Hag wants. One of the most improved players would come to when it came to you, total distance covered in those games, especially when you return back from the rehabilitation from Netherlands, is Jordan Sancho. You know, his work rate has gone ahead to improve, and I think that's the only attribute that lacked in his game. And people are forgetting the two games that he played against Chelsea and Fulham, where, it, where he really created an assist for Anton Masia in the game of Chelsea, and obviously in the game of Fulham, he found himself on the score sheet. So, people are forgetting all that because they are putting the final of the FA Cup into the frame but it's only Rafael Veran, Aaron Van Bissaka, Luke Shaw, um, Linderoff and um, Alejandro Garnacho that really had a very good game that's it the rest of the players really had a very bad game so why aren't you talking about or calling out the entire team to be sold so I want us to really mature up when I'm really making up certain statements as far as these players are really concerned because we really know that Jordan Sancho's potential is really high and he's back at Carrington training and trust me, Wednesday, wait for him as I prepare the match preview of United vs Leeds tomorrow. So keep it, United Matters channel, I'm going to bring you that story. Now, lastly, let's talk about the new interest coming in from Everton onto Tom Heaton. We've been told by John Cross Mira, he's a chief football writer at the Daily Mirror. He has told us that Everton have made an inquiry about the signing of Man United goalkeeper Tom Heaton as Man United close in on Andre Onana. Now, Heaton wanted to leave Man United because Luton Town, a newly promoted side from the championship, wanted to sign him. Ten Hag blocked that and said, you are going nowhere. That is it. So, Ten Hag was doing it because he knew that David De Gea is leaving, Dean Henderson is leaving, you're losing two goalkeepers and you're only bringing in one. That's why you've gone in for Suzuki, the 19-year-old Japanese international that plays for all our raids in Japan. So, I don't see to it that Ten Hag is going to allow this move of Tom Heaton to leave Manchester United because he needs to be having three or four goalkeepers and is less <coughs> by two if Andre Onana comes in through. If Suzuki comes in through, then he's going to be less by one. So, he cannot allow this player to go as he's going to find himself in a position of not really having the right number of players that he needs as his club. That is a return hug for you. So, guys, your thoughts on to Rasmus Hoyland pushing for United transfer are welcome in the comment section below. What do you make about uh, what do you make about Tom Heaton, Everton? showing interest into him and last word to make about Jaden Sancho, Ten Hag coming in through and obviously confirming that he's giving him another chance at Man United. Aside that for now, see you later. Baraklao Fikum to all Muslim people watching this channel and my Christian friends. I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Aside that for now, see you later. Bye-bye.